was under domestic pressure not to enter the conflict, and on October 3rd announced that the U.S. would remain neutral in the European War. However, just one year earlier, in 1938, German scientists had succeeded in splitting atoms of uranium, releasing large amounts of energy in a process called fission. Fearing that German scientists were working on a super bomb, several physicists persuaded Albert Einstein to send a letter to President Roosevelt, warning him of Germany's ambitions. Convinced that the U.S. should be the first country with this type of capability, President Roosevelt asked Nobel Prize winning physicist Enrico Fermi to lead the U.S. effort. The race for the bomb had begun. For the next two years, researchers throughout the United States worked feverishly to determine if an atomic bomb was a real possibility and how one might be built. And then the unthinkable happened. On the morning of December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked the Pearl Harbor Naval Base in Hawaii, destroying much of the Navy's Pacific Fleet and killing more than 3,000 American servicemen. The U.S. entered the war and stepped up its efforts to build the bomb. As a result, the top secret project, codenamed the Manhattan Project, was created with one distinct mission, build an atomic bomb within three years. Colonel Leslie R. Groves was chosen to head the Manhattan Project. One of his first priorities was to find locations for production of the bomb. In September of 1942, Groves chose an area around Bear Creek Valley and Black Oak Ridge in East Tennessee, an area that would later be known. Yeah, we need to bring your group that will not try to get into the ground. Please make a score of 